Okay, first step I want to do is dissolve half a kilo of dry malt extract. Or um, so this one's taken in a little bit of moisture, and but don't worry, it'll still dissolve in water. It'll just take a little bit longer. So I've just got two liters of water in here, half a kilo of what was dry malt extract, and I'll show you how you do it. Okay, so cut the top off and. Put it in the water and just over low heat and it'll all dissolve. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So then we'll go and add it to our to our um, low carb lager. Alright. Okay. So you can see pretty much all of that dry malt extract is dissolved. A few grams there, not gonna worry about it. Um, and just going to show you one more thing. So here's some um, harvested 3470 yeast. I'm going to show you how to tell if it's still good. So with a sanitized spoon, just need a little bit of sugar. You can use dextrose if you want, but sugar will do. And then we just come back in a few minutes and we'll see if that uh, has any bubbles. If the bubbles are there, it means the yeast is still good. Okay, you can see it's starting to bubble. So I say this yeast is still pretty healthy. Um, so I'm going to use it for this batch. Okay, so we've added the uh, can of lager extract. Now it's time to add the yeast. And uh, I've aerated the word and just hold on a second. Okay, this is the stuff that makes um, the low carb beer. And so you don't need to spend too much on it because this is the stuff you're looking for. Glucoamylase, mainly amylase. Same stuff that exists in your saliva uh, to break down starches or saccharides, which are sugars. So in here is dextrose and the enzyme. And the dextrose, I'm sure, is just to get the things kicked off pretty quickly. So I'm going to cut this open, sprinkle it over the top, um, and I'll get a gravity reading at the start because I don't know how low it's going to go, and then we'll see where it ends up. All right, uh, so you just add this the same way as you add yeast. I'm not going to film it. You've seen it. Bef you've seen how to add yeast. I'm sure you've done it before. Um, so yeah, I'll get a uh, gravity reading start and at the end and a taste test. All right, happy brewing. Cheers, brewers. Mm. Refreshing. Now this is my uh, this is the low carb beer, first one. Um, and it is estery. Um, so, out of all the variables that I did, uh, so it was just a kit brew, um, half a kilo of fermentables, 3470 yeast, and um, that little packet of uh, alpha amylase or glucoamylase. Uh, either way, it was a amylase enzyme um, and one of the causes of, of ester, esters forming in your home brew is the gravity goes too low um, and too fast so I fermented it at normal uh, 12 degrees and um, and just added that so my um, next time because uh, it's quite a and when I say it's estuary, I mean there's a slight fruitiness to it, just a slight fruitiness. Um, but next time, I think I will ferment cooler again, um, if I want to do it again. Um, but also, I'll check what fermentables um, and see if I can get a I'll just change them, um, maybe slightly. But the final gravity was 10.04. But with it being 36 degrees 
outside and probably inside. Um, this is a really refreshing drink. Um, but it was really easy to do, just like adding yeast. Um, so if you are interested in making a low carb beer, I suggest you try it. Now the difference between low carb and low calorie beer, uh, I'll let you in on some stats. One gram of carbohydrates is four calories, one gram of alcohol is seven calories. So you're sort of robbing Peter to pay Paul, um, so just re remember that when you're making your low carb beer, not low calorie beer. Alright, um, I'm going to get back into a cooler, cooler environment, being inside the house, uh, but yeah, give it a try if you want to try a low carb beer. Cheers.